Hello and welcome to another lesson in the creation of our school management system. In this lesson, we're going to deal with how to generate our fees payment receipt. So we are done with the payment database table session. We've inserted the formulas and formatted using the conditional formatting and all that. So now what we're left with is just to work on the payment receipt generation. So let's just quickly go to that and fix what we have there. But before we do that, let's quickly go back to our um, fees collection table. Now, let's select the entire table from here. From this to the last. Now, let's drag it to the last student. Make sure we do it and do it well to avoid any errors. Let's just go ahead. Let's go to the top here and give it a name. P. After that, just hit enter. Make sure you hit enter after that, else it wouldn't take effect. Now let's reselect it again and see whether the name has been taken into our name manager. Good. Good. It means it has been taken. So we are good to go. So we are going to be using it in our receipt generation session. So here we go. Now, this is where we're going to use a VLOOKUP function to look up through our table and then call on the various columns we need, such as the admission number column, the name column, the class column, the gender column, and then installment one, installment two, straight up to the last column of our choice. So let's just go here and start with the execution of our um, formula. So say VLOOKUP, so it's already pop up so you just double click it the lookup value is this search box so you just click inside it and type comma the table array is the p we have just created and then after that comma then the index column the admission column is number one so you just type one comma and then just type zero and then uh, close your bracket and hit enter not applicable because there is no value in the search box but then let's just go ahead and use the if error function here to correct sorry so we have if error then a bracket open and we come this way comma then two inverted commas then close it and we hit enter and we are done with that so in here if we type one we should get something popping up here for us as the first student now what we're going to do is just to copy the formula and paste in each and every what do you call it a uh, field so before we do that let's just go ahead and format this field for us so we select this press and hold control on the keyboard then you select the rest of the fields select this select this this and that this 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 so let's just bold it Let's make sure the test is center and all that. So it's center. Good. So let's see whatever we type here. Will it be in center? It's there. Good. Let's search for our number here and see if it will be in the center. It's there. Good. Now let's just go ahead and then copy our formula and paste and then edit. So let's leave the equal sign. So control C to copy. And let's come in here. Let's just press escape to clear that. Now let's come in here now. This is where you copy the formula. Now let's come here, equal to, then control V to paste the formula. So with the name, the name is in column two. So you change the column here to two. And then you press enter. And we come here, then equal to class is column three. So you just change this column to three. Then you hit enter. Come, equal to, then you paste the column, the, the, the formula. Then we, after class we have gender gender is column four sorry so you just uh, edit this to four then you hit enter admission dates is column five so equal to so you just edit this you type five then you hit enter so we come to fees that is column six Control V to paste. So you just change this to six. Then we hit enter. And then um, let's go to installments. Equal to Control V. We have column seven here. We just edit this to seven. 
When we come to installment two, is equal to we have column eight here. It just changes to eight, and then you hit enter. Is equal to control V. This is column nine. Changes to nine. Then you hit enter. Then control sorry. Equal to control V. Then it changes to column ten. Just add zero to one. Then you hit enter. And we come to receive. This is equal to um, what, 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 what? Control V. Then we change the column to 11 here. And we hit enter. Then we are good to go. It's equal to Control V. Let's change this to 12. We hit enter. And then here is equal to Control. Sorry. Control V. Oh gosh. Uh, I've copied the different thing now. Let me just copy it once again. Control C to copy it. Let's just escape this. Come to the last one. It's equal to Control V. So we change this to 13. Then we are good to go. So now everything is working perfectly. Let's go ahead and search for the first student by entering that mission number here one. So we have the information about the first, first student popping up and the payment is completed. But then let's format this session again. So make sure it's selected. Let's go to conditional formatting. Let's go to highlight cells rules. Go to equal. So if payment is completed, we want the green color there. And there's no, okay. So you can see that it means payment is completed, or we can just format it completely there. But it's like it can be seen, right? It can be seen. So let's just go ahead and check. I think this is this looks okay without any problem. This means payment completed. So let's make sure it's selected again. Let's go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to if it is unpaid again, so unpaid. We would like the test to be light red flow with dark red text. So okay. So we click on okay. So we have that. Let's just go ahead and search for another student who hasn't paid. Completed. Okay, let's go to the fee collection table and then add some student there. So let's just since we have this, sorry. Let's go up to this level. James, answer Aziz, Wahab, Kwame, Peter, Razak, Karim, Tanko. Zane, good. So let's just go ahead and add maybe female. I don't care whoever it is. We have female again. We have male. And we have uh, whatever. What, what, what? Maybe female. And then male. Good. So we are done with that. Let's just go to our payment session once again and confirm you can see some of them we have just added haven't paid so let's get there and see what's going to happen there so we come here let's search for the fourth person now sorry fourth person completed payment fifth person and paid so right good that is what i'm expecting so it means our official payment receipt is also functioning properly without any stress. So let's quickly go and then check on something we have to do. Let's go back to our fees collection session. We want to make reference to our student details using the admission number, name, class, and gender, and then admission date. We want to make reference to that sheet. So let's clear that. Let's clear this. Let me see all this. Let's go back to our student details and confirm that before we come this way. So let's check. We have admission number, name, class, gender. So that one is in line with the fees collection. Na uh, admission na number, name, class, and gender is in line. So let's go back and confirm there. 
yeah admission number name class gender except the what do you call it um, with the with the fees the class will determine the fees as usual as you know the admission date to will be making reference from there so let's just clear this so even up to here let's just Uh, yes so that is how it's going to be so let's quickly go to our student details from our student database and then we make so we type equal to here equal to so we go to the student details just hit this one press click on it and then hit enter i've made reference to that and then we drag it to gender Good. So just double click to autofill the last student code. So we have that up and running. Excellent. So it's like we've already entered some random yeah, what do you call it? This is there. So let's just check. Yeah, that is what is appearing over there. Now let's refer the uh, date of admission again quickly. Let's refer that the date of admission. And let's go to uh, fees collection again fees collection let's come to date of admission date let's start equal to let's quickly go to students details date of admission is here click on it and then enter so just double click to autofill as well good so we have that to up and running so in here we're not going to do anything so you make sure you don't touch it you don't do anything to it until we are done so that we package it and then we are going to lock all the cells and then leave where we shall be updating unlocked so that we can be updating the fees in that order so that is what we're going to do so you make sure you, you take care of the cells very well so let's just go back to our fees collection section and see uh, what do you call it uh, yes the, the fees receipt and see something here let's just check on the first student student number one good we have this now the date admission the laser format it you can see that the, the, the just the general test so let's just click on it make sure it's selected and click on this and choose short dates then we are okay with that you can press ctrl s to save your work then let's just check on the second student to as i mean the second student we don't have anybody there let me confirm i have to go to my fees collection table yes second student is zero so there is nobody so unless we go to our student details and add more students like okay let's just number here two and select this and then up to this so let's 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 have fatal musa this is field right so zainab wahab this is male, right? So we have Idris Muhammad. I think this is okay. It's just a demo for demonstration. So let's just check date of uh, admission. So we have 12. Okay, why always 12? 10, 11, 2008. 2. 12 2007 and then we have 15th to 209 so i think this is okay let's just go back to our students fees collection session again and see so we have the student we've just entered there let's go to our fees generation receipts and check what is happening there so we have this for the second student initially it was zero so let's check for the third student so we have this let's check the payment status and paid so let's go and update the third student zainab will have the payment status let's just go there when we get it we're going to use our our form to do that so let's go to fees collection let's trigger our form we are dealing with the third person so let's trigger our form from here let's search for the third person that i that is zainab Wahab she hasn't paid anything so i'm paid so we're going to pay for her so let's start with 500 200 
so making 700 you want to be 1100 right let's add another 500 so so it's even more than right so okay let's make just make it 400 here just to pay for her so let's quickly click on update to update the information so let's just go and confirm so let's close this let's go and confirm Zainab's payment status now she's now completed because she has paid so basically that is that and this brings us to the end of this lesson and then till our next lesson we're going to do with admission receipts thank you very much for watching and bye for now